Good day to you all. Today, we delve into a topic that's near and dear to our heart, mental health in the workplace. It's a subject often shrouded in whispers, hidden behind forced smiles and stiff upper lips. But behind those facades lies a truth we can no longer afford to ignore. The workplace, that bastion of productivity and ambition, can often become a breeding ground for stress, anxiety and burnout. The pressure to perform, the ever-increasing workloads and the constant struggle for work-life balance, they all take their toll. And yet we're often expected to soldier on, to grin and bear it, to never let them see us sweat, let alone break down. This silence, this stigma surrounding mental health is a dangerous game we play, a game with real consequences. It's time we break the silence. It's time we shine a light on this critical issue and create a world where mental health matters. Let's embark on this journey together, shall we? The modern workplace is a complex environment. On one hand, it offers opportunities for growth, learning and achievement. On the other, it can be a source of immense pressure and stress. The demands of the job, the expectations of employers and the competitive nature of many industries can create a perfect storm for mental health issues. Many employees feel they must constantly prove their worth, often at the expense of their well-being. They may work long hours, skip breaks and sacrifice personal time to meet deadlines and targets. This relentless drive can lead to burnout, a state of physical and emotional exhaustion that can have serious consequences for both the individual and the organisation. Despite the growing awareness of mental health issues, there is still a significant stigma attached to them. Many people are reluctant to speak up about their struggles for fear of being judged or facing negative repercussions. This silence can prevent individuals from seeking the help they need and can exacerbate their problems. Ignoring mental health issues in the workplace can have far-reaching consequences. It can lead to decreased productivity, increased absenteeism and higher turnover rates. It can also affect the overall morale and culture of the organisation. When employees are struggling, it can create a ripple effect that impacts their colleagues and the entire workplace. It's crucial for organisations to create an environment where mental health is prioritised and employees feel supported. This can involve implementing policies and practices that promote work-life balance, providing access to mental health resources and fostering a culture of openness and understanding. Employers can play a key role in supporting their employees' mental health. This can include offering flexible work arrangements, providing training on stress management and resilience and encouraging employees to take regular breaks and time off. It's also important to create a safe space where employees feel comfortable discussing their mental health without fear of judgment or repercussions. As individuals, we can also take steps to prioritise our mental health. This can involve setting boundaries, practising self-care and seeking support when needed. By taking care of ourselves, we can better manage the demands of the workplace and maintain our overall well-being. Let's embark on this journey together shall we? By working together, we can create a workplace where mental health is valued and everyone can thrive. Let's travel back in time for a moment, shall we? Picture the year 1940. The world is a vastly different place, a place where the shadows of war loom large over every corner of the globe. The world is engulfed in the throes of World War II. Nations are clashing and the fate of millions hangs in the balance. The air is thick with uncertainty, fear and the relentless march of conflict. At the helm of Great Britain stands Winston Churchill, a man renowned for his strength, his resolve, his unwavering spirit. He is a beacon of hope for many, a symbol of resilience in the face of overwhelming odds. 
But behind that resolute facade, Churchill battled his own demons. The pressures of leadership, the weight of responsibility, and the constant threat of defeat took a toll on him. He called it his black dog, a metaphor for the crippling depression that haunted him throughout his life. This black dog was not just a fleeting shadow, but a constant companion lurking in the corners of his mind. Despite carrying the weight of the world on his shoulders, Churchill understood the importance of acknowledging his mental health. He knew that to lead effectively, he had to confront his inner struggles head on. He didn't shy away from it, didn't try to bury it under a mountain of stiff upper lip bravado. Instead, he faced it with the same courage and determination that he brought to the battlefield. Churchill's story reminds us that even the most stoic, the most seemingly invincible among us, are vulnerable to the complexities of the human mind. It is a powerful reminder that mental health does not discriminate. It affects everyone, regardless of their status or strength. It teaches us that strength lies not in ignoring our mental health, but in acknowledging it, in seeking support, and in breaking free from the shackles of stigma. By doing so, we not only help ourselves, but also pave the way for others to do the same. Churchill's leadership during the war is often celebrated but it is his personal battle with depression that offers a deeper, more human perspective on his life. His ability to lead a nation while grappling with his own mental health challenges is a testament to his resilience and fortitude. Today, we can draw inspiration from Churchill's story. In a world where mental health is still often stigmatized, his openness about his struggles serves as a beacon of hope. It encourages us to have honest conversations about mental health, to seek help when needed, and to support those around us who may be struggling. Mental health is a journey, not a destination. It requires ongoing effort, understanding, and compassion. By sharing our stories and supporting one another, we can create a world where mental health is prioritized and where everyone feels empowered to seek the help they need. As we reflect on Churchill's legacy, let us remember that true strength lies in vulnerability. By acknowledging our struggles and seeking support, we can overcome even the darkest of times. Let us honor his memory by breaking the silence around mental health and fostering a culture of openness and support. In the end, Winston Churchill's story is not just one of wartime leadership, but also one of personal triumph over adversity. It is a story that continues to inspire and remind us that we are not alone in our struggles. Together we can face the weight of the world and emerge stronger, just as Churchill did. Fast forward to the present day, and we see that Churchill's black dog is no longer a solitary beast. Mental health issues have become a widespread concern, touching lives in every corner of the globe. The pressures of modern life, the relentless pace of work, and the constant connectivity through technology have all contributed to a growing mental health crisis. Mental health challenges have become a global epidemic, affecting millions worldwide. The World Health Organization reports that mental health disorders are among the leading causes of ill health and disability worldwide. This epidemic does not discriminate. It affects people of all ages, genders and backgrounds. According to the World Health Organization, nearly two-thirds of people with a known mental disorder never seek help from a health professional at all. This reluctance to seek help can be attributed to various factors, including stigma, lack of awareness, and limited access to mental health services. Many individuals suffer in silence, feeling isolated and unsupported. The workplace, with its inherent pressures and demands, plays a significant role in this crisis. Long hours, high expectations, and the pressure to perform can take a toll on employees' mental well-being. 
The modern work environment often prioritizes productivity over mental health, leading to a culture where stress and burnout are commonplace. Stress, burnout, anxiety, depression, these are not mere buzzwords. They're real and pervasive issues impacting employees across all industries and levels. The consequences of these mental health challenges are far-reaching, affecting not only the individuals but also their families, colleagues and the overall productivity of organisations. And yet, the stigma persists. Despite growing awareness, many people still feel uncomfortable discussing their mental health at work. This stigma can prevent individuals from seeking the help they need, leading to a cycle of suffering and silence. We shy away from conversations about mental health, fearing judgment, discrimination or even career repercussions. The fear of being perceived as weak or incapable can be a significant barrier to seeking support. This fear is often compounded by a lack of understanding and empathy from colleagues and employers. But this silence only perpetuates the problem pushing it further into the shadows where it festers and grows. When mental health issues are not addressed, they can escalate, leading to more severe consequences such as chronic stress, severe depression and even suicidal thoughts. It is crucial to break this cycle of silence and create a supportive environment where mental health is openly discussed and prioritised. Fortunately, there are initiatives and programmes aimed at promoting mental health awareness in the workplace. Companies are beginning to recognise the importance of mental well-being and are implementing measures to support their employees. These initiatives include mental health training for managers, employee assistance programmes and creating a culture of openness and support. By encouraging open conversations about mental health and providing resources for support, workplaces can help reduce the stigma and create a more inclusive environment. Support groups, mental health days and wellness programmes are just a few examples of how organisations can prioritise the mental well-being of their employees. Addressing mental health in the workplace not only benefits the employees, but also the organisation as a whole. A mentally healthy workforce is more productive, engaged and resilient. By investing in mental health, companies can reduce absenteeism, improve employee retention and foster a positive work culture. As we move forward, it is essential to continue raising awareness about mental health and breaking down the barriers that prevent individuals from seeking help. By prioritising mental well-being, we can create a healthier, more supportive and more productive work environment for everyone. The journey towards better mental health in the workplace is ongoing, but with collective effort and commitment, we can make a significant difference. It's time to change the narrative. It's time to break free from the shackles of stigma and create workplaces where mental health is not a taboo subject, but a top priority. Over the next few minutes, we'll explore the multifaceted landscape of mental health in the workplace. We'll delve into the importance of destigmatizing mental health issues, fostering supportive work environments, and providing access to vital resources. We'll learn from the past, understand the present and look towards a future where mental well-being is not a luxury but a right for every individual. So sit back, relax and join me on this enlightening journey as we unlock the secrets to a happier, healthier and more mentally resilient workforce. Onwards to a brighter future. Ah, the stigma of mental health. It's a tale as old as time, woven into the very fabric of human history. For centuries, mental illness has been shrouded in fear, misunderstanding and prejudice. It's been seen as a mark of shame, a sign of weakness, something to be hidden away, whispered about in hushed tones. But why? Where does this deep-seated stigma stem from? 
To understand the present, we must often delve into the past. Join me, if you will, on a journey through time as we explore the historical roots of this pervasive stigma and uncover the events that have shaped our perceptions of mental health. In ancient civilizations, mental illness was often attributed to supernatural forces, demonic possession, witchcraft or the wrath of the gods. Imagine, if you will, living in a world where an episode of depression or anxiety could be misconstrued as a sign of being cursed or possessed. The ancient Greeks, though known for their philosophical and medical advancements, often viewed mental illness as an imbalance of humours, blood, phlegm, yellow bile and black bile. While their theories were groundbreaking for their time, they often led to treatments that were more torturous than therapeutic. Fast forward to the Middle Ages and we encounter a particularly dark chapter in the history of mental health. The witch hunts fueled by superstition and religious fervour swept across Europe claiming the lives of countless individuals, many of whom likely suffered from undiagnosed mental illnesses. Imagine the terror, the helplessness of being labelled a witch simply because you experienced hallucinations, delusions or other symptoms that were beyond your control. The stigma surrounding mental illness during this period was so profound that it had life or death consequences. As we move into the 18th and 19th centuries, we witness the rise of asylums, institutions intended to house and treat those deemed insane. While intended as places of refuge, these institutions often became overcrowded, understaffed and inhumane. Patients were subjected to treatments that ranged from ineffective to downright barbaric ice baths, restraints and even lobotomies. The stigma surrounding mental illness persisted, keeping people from seeking help, fearing the shame and isolation that came with a diagnosis. Sadly, even in our modern era, with all our scientific advancements and understanding of the brain, the stigma surrounding mental health endures. It lingers in hushed whispers, in the averted gazes, in the fear of judgment that prevents individuals from seeking the help they desperately need. According to a 2014 study published in the journal JAMA Psychiatry, only about half of Americans with mental disorders receive treatment. The reasons for this are complex, but stigma plays a significant role preventing individuals from acknowledging their struggles and seeking support. But there is hope. We are witnessing a growing movement to break the silence, to challenge the stigma, and to create a world where mental health is treated with the same compassion and understanding as physical health. More and more individuals are sharing their stories, Celebrities are speaking out, and firms like M Yoga Coaching and Consulting are working tirelessly to raise awareness and provide support. Each and every one of us has a role to play in this revolution of compassion. By educating ourselves, by challenging our own biases, and by offering support to those who are struggling we can help dismantle the stigma surrounding mental illness. Remember, even small acts of kindness can have a ripple effect, creating a more understanding and supportive world for all. Now, let's delve further into the specific challenges and opportunities for fostering mental well-being in the workplace. Stay tuned. Now, 
Let's turn our attention to the workplace. Can a place often associated with stress and pressure truly become a haven for mental well-being? The answer, my friends, is a resounding yes, but it requires a conscious effort, a shift in perspective, a commitment to creating a culture that values and prioritizes the mental health of its employees. Imagine, if you will, a workplace where open communication about mental health is encouraged, where seeking help is seen as a sign of strength, not weakness. A workplace where employees feel valued, supported and empowered to bring their whole selves to work without fear of judgment or reprisal. This is the ideal we strive for, the vision of a mentally healthy workplace. The need for belonging, for social connection, is deeply ingrained in our human nature. Throughout history, we see that communities that prioritized social support and a sense of belonging often thrived, while those that fostered isolation and division struggled. Take, for instance, the ancient Greek concept of philia, a type of love that encompassed loyalty, camaraderie, and shared values among friends and community members. This emphasis on social bonds contributed to a sense of belonging and mutual support, fostering resilience in the face of adversity. Fast forward to the 18th century, and we see another compelling example of the power of social support in the Quaker community. Known for their peaceful principles and strong social conscience, the Quakers were pioneers in advocating for humane treatment of the mentally ill. They established moral treatment centers that emphasized compassion, respect, and meaningful activities, rather than the harsh and isolating treatments prevalent in asylums of the time. The Quakers recognized the importance of social interaction and a sense of purpose in promoting mental well-being a principle that continues to resonate today. And what does modern science have to say about all this? Well, it turns out that ancient wisdom is often backed by contemporary research. Numerous studies have shown the profound impact of social support on mental health. A 2019 study published in the journal PLOS. One, found that workplace social support was significantly associated with reduced symptoms of depression and anxiety among employees. The study concluded that fostering a supportive work environment can serve as a protective factor against mental health challenges. Creating a supportive workplace goes far beyond offering ping-pong tables and free snacks. It requires a holistic approach, one that addresses the multifaceted needs of employees. Flexibility in work arrangements, opportunities for growth and development, and a culture of recognition and appreciation are just a few examples. Open communication is paramount. Employees need to feel comfortable discussing their mental health concerns without fear of stigma or negative consequences. Managers need to be trained to recognize the signs of mental distress and to provide appropriate support. Leadership plays a crucial role in shaping workplace culture. When leaders prioritize their own mental well-being and openly champion a culture of support, it sends a powerful message to the entire organization. Imagine a CEO who openly shares their experience with anxiety or a manager who encourages employees to take mental health days without guilt. Such vulnerability and authenticity can be transformative breaking down barriers and fostering a climate of empathy and understanding. Creating a mentally healthy workplace is not solely the responsibility of HR or management. It's a collective effort that requires the participation of everyone in the organization. 
encourage open conversations about mental health, challenge stigmatizing language and attitudes, and offer support to colleagues who may be struggling. Remember, even small acts of kindness can make a big difference. In our next act, we'll explore the vital role of mental health resources in the workplace. Now, my friends, let's talk about lifelines. Just as a ship at sea needs a sturdy lifeboat in case of emergencies, employees need readily available resources to navigate the choppy waters of mental health challenges. For too long, mental health resources in the workplace were seen as a luxury, a nice to have rather than a necessity. But the tide is turning and organisations are beginning to recognise the crucial role these resources play in supporting their most valuable asset, their employees. Let's rewind the clock for a moment and journey back to the early 20th century. In those days, mental health was rarely discussed in the workplace. Employees were expected to leave their personal troubles at the factory gates, and seeking help for mental health concerns was often met with scepticism or even ridicule. If an employee experienced a mental health crisis, they were often left to fend for themselves, with little or no support from their employer. This lack of resources not only had devastating consequences for individuals, but also impacted productivity and morale within organisations. Thankfully, as our understanding of mental health evolved, so too did our approach to workplace well-being. The mid-20th century witnessed the emergence of employee assistance programs, a groundbreaking initiative that offered employees confidential access to counselling, support and referrals for a variety of personal and work-related issues, including mental health concerns. Initially, EAPs were primarily utilised for substance abuse issues, but their scope gradually expanded to encompass a broader range of mental health concerns. This marked a significant step forward in recognising the importance of providing employees with access to professional help. While EAPs remain a valuable resource, a truly comprehensive approach to workplace mental health requires a multifaceted strategy. This includes offering on-site counselling services, mental health workshops, peer support groups and access to online resources. Some progressive organisations are even implementing mindfulness programmes, yoga classes and other stress reduction initiatives to promote employee well-being. The key is to provide a diverse range of resources to meet the unique needs of a diverse workforce. The digital age has ushered in a new era of accessibility for mental health support. Online resources such as mental health apps, websites and teletherapy platforms have made it easier than ever for employees to access help discreetly and conveniently. These digital tools offer a range of benefits, including anonymity, flexibility and affordability. Employees can access support from the comfort of their own homes at a time that suits them without the stigma or inconvenience of traditional therapy. Now, some may question the cost of implementing such comprehensive mental health resources, but here's the thing. Investing in employee well-being is not just the right thing to do, it's the smart thing to do. Numerous studies have demonstrated a strong return on investment for organisations that prioritise mental health. A 2017 study by Deloitte found that for every dollar invested in mental health programs, employers saw a $4 return in improved health and productivity.
Beyond the financial benefits, there's an even more compelling reason to prioritise mental health in the workplace. It's the ethical imperative. Employees are not machines. They're human beings with thoughts, feelings and vulnerabilities. Creating a workplace where mental health is valued and supported is not just good business. It's about treating people with dignity, respect and compassion. It's about fostering a culture where everyone feels seen, heard and supported. And now, my friends, we arrive at a topic that lies at the very heart of a mentally healthy workplace, open communication. Imagine, if you will, a workplace where employees feel safe and supported in sharing their mental health experiences where vulnerability is met with empathy, not judgment. This, my friends, is the power of open communication. It's about creating a culture where mental health is no longer a taboo subject, whispered about in hushed tones, but a topic that can be discussed openly and honestly, without fear of shame or reprisal. Sadly, for much of history, workplaces were shrouded in a culture of silence when it came to mental health. Employees were expected to maintain a stiff upper lip to soldier on regardless of their internal struggles. Speaking out about mental health concerns was often seen as a sign of weakness, a career-limiting move that could lead to stigma, discrimination or even job loss. Imagine the immense pressure, the crushing weight of carrying such burdens in silence with no outlet for support or understanding. This culture of silence only served to perpetuate the stigma surrounding mental health, preventing countless individuals from seeking the help they desperately needed. The Victorian era with its emphasis on decorum and emotional restraint, provides a stark example of the detrimental effects of repressing emotions. Mental health issues were often swept under the rug, dismissed as hysteria or nervousness. This culture of repression had profound consequences, leading to a rise in psychosomatic illnesses, substance abuse and social isolation. The inability to express emotions openly and honestly created a breeding ground for anxiety, depression and other mental health challenges. Thankfully, the latter half of the 20th century witnessed a gradual shift in societal attitudes towards mental health. The tireless efforts of mental health advocates, alongside groundbreaking research and increased awareness, began to chip away at the stigma surrounding mental illness. Organisations like the National Alliance on Mental Illness, or NAMI, emerged, providing support, education and advocacy for individuals and families affected by mental illness. These pioneers paved the way for more open conversations about mental health, challenging societal norms and demanding better treatment and support for those in need. Today, we're witnessing a heartening trend towards normalising conversations about mental health. Celebrities, athletes and public figures are increasingly sharing their own experiences with mental illness, helping to destigmatize these issues and encourage others to speak out. Social media platforms have also played a role in amplifying these conversations, providing a platform for individuals to connect, share their stories and find support. The hashtag hash mental health awareness, for instance, has garnered millions of posts demonstrating the growing global movement to break the silence surrounding mental health. But open communication doesn't just happen magically. It requires a conscious effort to create safe spaces where employees feel comfortable sharing their experiences without fear of judgment or negative consequences. 
This means fostering a culture of trust and respect, where vulnerability is seen as a strength, not a weakness. Managers and leaders play a crucial role in setting the tone by modeling open communication, actively listening to their employees' concerns and responding with empathy and support. The benefits of open communication about mental health in the workplace are far-reaching. When employees feel comfortable discussing their mental health needs, they're more likely to seek help when they need it, leading to earlier intervention and better outcomes. Open communication also helps to break down stigma, fostering a more inclusive and supportive work environment for everyone. It creates a sense of belonging, reduces feelings of isolation and promotes a culture of empathy and understanding. And with that, my friends, we've reached the end of Act 4. Stay tuned for our final act, where we'll explore the transformative impact of fostering a mentally healthy workplace. And so, my friends, as we reach the final act of our exploration into the crucial realm of mental health in the workplace, let us pause and reflect on the journey we've shared. We've delved into the shadows of stigma, uncovering its historical roots and confronting its pervasive presence in our modern world. But we haven't stopped there. We've also witnessed the inspiring rise of mental health awareness, the growing movement to break the silence and create workplaces where well-being is not just a buzzword, but a deeply ingrained value. We've explored the power of supportive work environments, the importance of readily available resources and the transformative impact of open communication. Remember, my friends, the pursuit of a mentally healthy workplace is not merely an act of altruism, although compassion should always be our guiding star. It's also a strategic imperative, one that yields tangible benefits for both individuals and organisations. When employees feel supported, valued and empowered to prioritise their mental well-being, they bring their best selves to work. They're more engaged, more productive, and more likely to stay with an organization that truly cares. It's a win-win situation, a virtuous cycle where individual well-being fuels collective success. And here at Mjoga Coaching and Consulting, we're deeply passionate about partnering with organisations like yours to create workplaces where mental health matters. We believe that everyone deserves to thrive in their careers. And that starts with fostering a culture of well-being, inclusivity and support. Our team of experienced coach, consultants and trainers is dedicated to providing tailored solutions that meet the unique needs of your organisation. We offer a wide range of services from mental health awareness to leadership development programmes, all designed to empower your employees and create a workplace where everyone feels valued and supported. The journey towards a mentally healthy workplace may seem daunting at times, but remember, even small steps can make a world of difference. Start by fostering open communication, providing access to resources, and creating a culture where seeking help is seen as a sign of strength, not weakness. And if you're feeling lost or uncertain, don't hesitate to reach out. We're here to guide you to provide the support and resources you need to create a workplace where mental health thrives. Together, we can build a brighter, healthier and more compassionate future for everyone. As a special offer for those of you who've joined us on this enlightening journey, we're offering a complimentary career breakthrough call with our expert coach, Dr. Joga. This is your opportunity to discuss your unique challenges 
explore potential solutions, and chart a course towards greater well-being for yourself and your organisation. Don't miss out on this invaluable opportunity to take the first step towards a brighter, healthier future. Click on our Calendly link in the description box below and schedule your complimentary consultation. And so, my friends, as we conclude our exploration into the vital realm of mental health in the workplace, let us remember the wise words of the Dalai Lama, happiness is not something ready-made. It comes from your own actions. Let us all take action to create workplaces where mental health matters, where well-being is prioritised and where everyone feels supported, valued and empowered to thrive. Onwards to a brighter future.